me a long time to convince Nori Paramore, who was who produced Move It, Move It, and a couple, two or three of my records, three or four of my records. Um, it took me a while to influence him and say, "Look, the shadows." And he said, "Look, I can't take the gamble. It's expensive to record, and, and they're an amateur group." I said, "Yeah, but you got." He said, "Bring them in. I'll listen to them." They came in. He said, "Okay, that's it." They're your band and we'll record with them. So I had done that and they became the Shadows and we worked together on my music. And then um, they got by Jerry Lorden, a writer who then sent a demo in and it was Apache, an instrumental. And the Shadows, of course, was thinking they could do this as a single. Norrie was a little bit worried about it because of what a promoter had said. He said, it's almost impossible to get an instrumental into the charts. So we all took a deep breath, and this guy said to Nori and to me, what about if Cliff plays something on the record? I can then go out to the radio station, and Cliff Richard is, is, is playing instru an instrument on this record. It wasn't a guitar. I would have been a, it, uh, they found a thing called an Indian drum. It may have been a Chinese drum, I don't know, but it's a funny shape. And what I did was play the intro. Uh, the intro went... Hank went by the time the four bars had gone my, my, my drum had been faded out and the shadows were there and they did get to number one I'd like to think I helped by, by doing that little bit of in the beginning of the record but they did get to number one um, and it's interesting I've asked people I said do you know who they knocked off number one because well, number ones are always getting knocked off and they don't know and I have to gr gr grind my teeth and say, it was me they knocked off. After all I did for them, they knocked me off the number one spot. I had a Bruce Welsh song. Bruce and, Shad Bruce and Shadows wrote a song called Please Don't Tease. And that was number one. And they knocked me off. And when I, when I think back on it, I said, I didn't... Do you know, it's really strange. Because we were so close, we were like a family. We toured, we lived together in hotels and things. I just felt so proud of the fact that here we are, me and them in the charts.